exercise six. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at an X's capabilities when trying to create a two-dimensional layout or drawing from a 3D model. In this case, we have the exercise six model, which you can down download off of vertanu1.com under part files and X, the yellow uh, buttons. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to go to file, new, and select drawing up here at the top. From there, select the A size drawing and hit OK. All right, now from here we have cell values. We could actually start inserting information into the cells uh, if we wanted to in advance. In this case, I'm just going to close that. Now there's also the uh, view creation wizard that comes up automatically. And it's kind of, it's not a bad tool. You can go, it's possible to just go in and select um, your part there. And there's some options that we could select for um, what we want to see. And there you can see orientation. There's a preview of our model. And then if we want it laid out, it tries to fit it. We have the ability to set to manual or automatic. And then select which views you want to add to or remove just by clicking on these views here. Now I'm going to cancel out of it, um, and instead I'm going to go with uh, the manual method. So under view creation, if you want to use the view creation wizard afterwards, you can always click on it. But I'm going to go to base view. And here we can see our preview of our model. What I'm going to do actually in this case, I don't want the, the top. Instead I want the front, the orientation. The scale is a bit big, so I'm going to go to a ratio and put in a 1 to 3 scale, so a third scale. Hit enter. There we go. Okay. There's some additional... Um, actually, there's not really anything. I'm going to go ahead and click to drop it. Now from here, it automatically starts to unfold the view. So I'm going to click again to drop the top. Drag off a right view. And we could drag off basically an auxiliary view if we want. Then just hit escape. Okay, now at this point, we, want, we might want to add some additional views here. I'm going to move these. You'll see they snap to an alignment if you do move them around a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add another base view. And this time I just want an isometric view. So I can pick from the list, select isometric. And again, ratio, we'll just pick that 1 to 3 scale. Just drop it in the upper right. Then hit escape. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is under views here, we have um, section view. So click on section view. And in the section views, there's some options for the style, section line style. Select the label and legend, the offsets, any additional settings you might want. You can go for standard or there's the uh, different ISO standards, things like that. And if you want with the section view, without a section view, line. Just going to hit escape, it takes us back here. We have a parent. We have the ability to just click on the view we want, lock into the, the center, click, make sure you select it, then you could rotate this. It'll snap to like different angles. In this case, we're uh, horizontal. And I'm going to drag this up and click to drop it. And there's our section view. Hit escape. We'll pull these views down a little bit here. Some additional room. And then you can always grab the text and relocate that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, add a detail view. So if we go to the detail, uh, the little arrow to the right of section view, you'll find detail view. Just click in this little region here and drag out a circle, and that will automatically drop our section view. I should say detail view of our section view. 
Move this over a bit. Okay. Now at this point, we could start adding some dimensions. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time dimensioning, but basically inside here you'll see there's several options for dimensions. With whole dimensions and things and such. Um, thickness dimensions. I'm just going to go to the inferred. And this is rather easy. Uh, before I go any further, actually, there's this, the text settings, which could be very useful, especially on a smaller print like this. The default settings here are where at uh, 0.12, I'm going to set to 0.09. And hit OK. And now I can go ahead and we just select edges and drag out our dimensions. room there. Alright, let's go back to inferred dimension. Again, diameters and radiuses can be added. Again, I, like I said, I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time adding dimensions, but if we look, there's some additional options here. We have center mark, Go ahead and click and add a center mark if you want. There's also bolt circle. Click on this, you select the center, and then you can select all the subsequent edges around the perimeter. There's the note tool. So if you want, you can go ahead and you can type in your, your name or whatever you need for a note. Click to drop it in. Hit Escape. And there's Edit Style, Edit Dimension. Um, there's several other options here. Again, this is just a very brief overview. There's um, Horizontal Chain. There's Ornate Dimensions if you want to add Ornate Dimensions. So um, that's about all we're going to cover on this exercise. And that concludes exercise 6.